What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and welcome back to another overpowered squad builder. Today, as the title suggests, we're heading into La Liga. I'm keeping this on that discount shopping tip under 100K. And I will talk about a few different upgrades you can make if you have a bigger budget, so I'm, I'm hitting everything. All in one video. We're gonna take the team into Rivals. If you enjoy the content, damn it, man. If you enjoy the content, as there's somebody beeping outside, the cops coming in and out of the avenue, we're down the street, happens on a regular basis. Drop a thumbs up, share it around the community, show your friends, and I need to know in the comments, what changes would you make? What types of squads have you been building? Is it a hybrid? Do you wanna see a certain type of squad builder, a certain budget? Talk to me, interact, engage, we'll have that discussion board down below. But let me show you the squad without further ado. Boom! On screen. 4-4-2. Four, four, I am going to start off playing the 4-2-3-1. Mainly because I'm concerned going into rivals with conceding goals and scoring goals. Uh, goalkeeper wise, I've gone with Neto. 6 foot 3. Uh, he's going to cost you 13, 14,000 coins. So one of the larger investments, I suppose, with this current squad in terms of budgets or price points or where they're at. Easily upgradable. I know a lot of people really like Oblak. Uh, in my opinion, Ter Stegen is the best goalkeeper in FIFA 20. I would recommend using him if you have the budget. Center backs, Militao gets the job done regardless. Uh, otherwise, you have the likes of a Ramos or a Veron. So I've gone with Super Mario. Uh, and I didn't have to buy Militao just because I had the loan version, but he's dirt cheap. He's going to cost you, I think he's under 4,000 coins now. For your fullbacks, this is a big, easy upgrade here. Semedo is the real deal. Uh, he's going to cost you maybe 20,000 coins, but he's the real deal. If you can afford him, I would do that. Left back position, you don't have many options unless you're starting to pay some, some big, big dollar signs. I don't like Marcelo this year. We're going to go with Gaia. Uh, otherwise, Jordi Alba would be the main man, but I think he's around 50,000 coins. So because I'm keeping this under 100K, that's an issue. Uh, Guedes as my uh, left midfielder, be an outside midfielder in the 4-2-3-1. Pretty standard there. Uh, the, the only change you can make with some of the, the, the wingers or the attackers is if you just wanted to increase that budget significantly. Uh, Vidal and De Jong. De Jong was one of my more expensive players in this team. It's going to cost you about 25, 26,000 coins. Vidal is relatively cheap. Dembele, one of the most overpowered players in FIFA 20. It just seemed fitting that I put him into the squad. I also like Gareth Bale, and Gareth Bale has a lot of versatility. He can play as a holding mid, an attacking mid, a cam, a striker, an outside midfielder. You name it, he can, he can do it, and I still think he has really good value. A different feel or a different vibe or a different type of winger if you're looking for more of a traditionalist where you have guys that can kind of shift left and shift right and are very agile. That's not Gareth Bale. He's more of a head down winger. I'd actually put him closer to a striker. Uh, up top, we've got a Naki Williams, where you're very familiar. I think I'm gonna play him actually on the outside as a winger. And then Morales. And Jose Morales is one of the most overpowered foot items, period, uh, in FIFA 20. The guy's the real deal. He's, he's amazing. I'm telling you, he's amazing. Uh, but we're going to get into some games. I'm probably going to complain. We haven't played any matches with this team. Everything's happening live on stream. Messi, everyone you could ask for. Come on, game. Can you give me a matchup? I literally, I will have to play perfect in this game and get bounces and convert every opportunity. I'm going to have to be perfect in my defense, perfect in my midfield, perfect in my buildup, all that. I'm going to have to finish every single opportunity. All of that. And I'm gonna need luck. All of that, too. See what I mean? What through ball am I guarding against? Defense. What a save from Neto. God, that was the chance. Why would you not pass that forward? Half time. Getting 
I don't, this scoreline, or, or I guess the, the shots and everything doesn't show. The game's been a little closer than that, but I mean, he's been obviously more attacking, more offensive. Team's just better. What sucks too is that his team's not gonna get his tires as quick as mine either. My team's gonna run out of gas here shortly. Oh, we dragged it. Oh, God, we were wiggling. Got him. Please. Ah, come on! Come on! Ah! <laughs> Work for it, baby. Work for it. Morales, money Morales. Let's go. We made no subs. Oh, that layoff is silky. Come on. Come on. Couple stops, Mike. Wow, is that a friendly bounce? A friendly bounce, man. We one stop. Literally one stop. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Cristiano Ronaldo. Whew! That should have been our win. Uh, I, I'm not here to, to make arguments that we just deserved a W. We did a decent job holding the ball. Decent job with our buildup. Uh, we just weren't going to have the same types of opportunities in the final third. We had a beautiful goal uh, in terms of finally breaking through, getting a nice layoff, having some creativity with the back heel. But man, is this a battle. When you look at the team difference, surely this proves this is overpowered. Remember, I'm in division rivals right now. Cristiano Ronaldo, Giovinco, Salah, Benyetter, those are all our subs. Look at the bench. The man had Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe on the pitch. Lothar, Conte, Maldini, Van Dyke, Semedo, Robertson. What do you want? Surely that proves this is overpowered. Surely that's enough for the people. I'll beat the 1 million coin. I'll beat the 5 million coin. But once we get 10 million plus, sometimes the 100K team's not enough. You need more of the 250, 300, 500K team to really compete because the difference in quality of player is just so crazy. Because we're also not dealing with average Joes in division rounds. You're dealing with guys that understand the meta, guys that are, that are good at FIFA, and then they have a 10 million plus team or a 15 million plus uh, team. And it is an absolute sweaty disaster. You guys can let me know. Uh, I'll be going back and forth with you in the comments down below. Whew. Playing division rivals with a 100k team is difficult unless it's during one of those heavy objective windows. Because then you get teams that really fluctuate. But if you're just getting the, the icons and the icons and the icons and the Cristiano and, and the Messi, and you can't be mad at these guys for building those ultimate teams, but the, the matchup, oh my goodness. You get the idea. But I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.